hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new here my name is Mufida and I'd like it if you click down below to subscribe to my channel this is the second time I'm filming this video today I already filmed it the quality was terrible I don't know what's going on with my camera but this is take two in today's video I'm gonna be sharing with you guys the products that have helped fade hyperpigmentation on my skin I know I filmed a video like this but it was probably over six months ago I have changed a few things that I've used i've added some products to my routine and i've really seen a difference with my skin so i thought to share that with you guys if you want to see how this video goes down carry on watching and let's get right into it so starting off i have sectioned my products into pre cleanses cleanses serums toners and spf so that it will be easy to go through this video and not be all over the place we're going to start off with pre cleanses usually what causes hyperpigmentation for me for the most part is breakouts i keep breaking out and it keeps leaving hyperpigmentation on my skin so in order to prevent hyperpigmentation from breakouts i would like to prevent breaking out i realized that cleansing my skin properly helps to prevent that most of the time and i've realized that pre-cleansing well pre-cleansing my skin before using an actual water-based cleanser really helps to prevent the amount of breakouts that i get or how frequent i get breakouts so i'm going to start off with micellar water i've used a bunch of micellar waters and i have shared that with you guys in past videos this is my current favorite this is the Garnier Skin Active Micellar Cleansing Water. This is on the affordable side. I've gone through several of these bottles. Pre-cleansing my skin with micellar water helps to really, really cleanse my skin properly so that I don't end up getting breakouts as frequent as I used to get them. On days where I don't use SPF or wear makeup, I just want to do like a light pre-cleanse. I just saturate a cutting pad with some micellar water and I go all over my face to take off any excess says gunk before I go in with my water based cleanser so definitely invest in a micellar water to pre-cleanse your skin before going in with your cleanser the next one is a cleansing balm this is my favorite cleansing balm this is the clean it zero cleansing balm from vanilla co I have gone through almost all of this on this where I wear makeup or I use SPF or I've been out and about and my skin is all greasy and dirty this is how I cleanse my skin. I go in with a cleansing balm just to melt off any excess dirt or oils and you know stuff like that on my skin and just wash it off before I go in with my main cleanser that day. This just helps your water-based cleanser to do a little bit more cleansing and it just leaves your skin feeling squeaky clean and you know that if your skin is clean you get less breakouts it means your pores are not as saturated with oils, dirt and you know bacteria getting in the mix and then you break out and stuff like that so yeah definitely investing in a cleansing balm especially on days where you wear makeup or spf using a cleansing balm can go a long way to help your skin so yeah i don't know about you i'm gonna stick to using cleansing balms i think you should try it out especially if you tried everything under the sun and you're still breaking out you definitely should check where you're cleansing your skin if you're not cleansing your skin properly there's really no point using all those actives so we are through with the pre cleansers i'm gonna go in with a cleanser now i have showed you guys most of the cleansers that i have used i would put the playlist of the videos that i've shared with you guys in the past down below so you guys can go ahead and check it out in case you are new here this is one of my favorite cleansers that i like this is the panoxyl benzoyl peroxide 10 percent benzoyl peroxide is an active ingredient that gets rid of acne causing bacteria on the skin like i said most of my hyperpigmentation comes from breaking out so if i can lessen the amount of breakouts i get i lessen the hyperpigmentation that i get so i try to prevent breaking out as often as possible this is one of the cleansers that does a great job at it this is a 10 percent version there's a four percent version for my more sensitive girlies so what i do with this is after i pre-cleanse my skin i go on with a light layer of this onto my skin rub it in and i leave it on my skin for five to ten minutes i do my body care 
routine afterwards i just wash it off and go on with my skincare routine this has really really helped especially when i feel like breakouts coming in this definitely gets rid of them before they become full form i've noticed that the number of breakouts that i get has decreased since using this i've been through several of these so yeah like i said there's a four percent version of this one and you should definitely try it out if you have a lot of active acne on your skin definitely try benzoyl peroxide out we are moving on to toners so i have three toners to share with you guys today the first toner is new to my routine unfortunately it's on the pricey side but i think it's worth it it's from pharmacy and it is the brighten up three percent cxa dark spot toner with azelic acid and pha this is a really amazing toner this is my second bottle it's really helped with the general brightness of my skin and this has directly targeted the hyperpigmentation on my skin especially because of the azelic acid in it azelic acid is not talked about enough i feel like it's one of the most amazing actives when it comes to fading hyperpigmentation and breakouts in general one thing i like about this toner is that it's not irritating it's very moisturizing and it just really plays well with other products that i have in my routine like i said it's really helped to brighten up my skin my skin is on the sensitive side and i realize that this does not burn my skin as much as other products i have tried in the past do so definitely if you can't afford to get this definitely do yeah. the next toner i'm going to be talking about is also from pharmacy this is the deep sweep two percent bha pore cleaning toner with moringa and papaya so i have oily combination skin and bhas really work well with oily skin cause it's more of a deep pore cleaning active and if you have oily skin you tend to have oilier pores and oilier pores plus dirt plus bacteria become a breakout and the breakout ends up leaving hyperpigmentation to prevent most of the breakouts that i get i like to use this as my main exfoliant it's an amazing toner and it's non-irritating literally you can use this every single day and not over exfoliate your skin i've had this in my routine for a long time like i said it's been working really really well at preventing in the frequency at which i break out yes. the next toner is from ole henriksen this is the glow 2 oh dark spot toner this has high potency ahas this toner is really great at deeply exfoliating the skin over time i've grown to combine ahas and bhas not in the same routine of course i've learned to balance them out in my routines i wouldn't advise you to use ahas and bhas in one routine you definitely have to figure out what your skin needs at one point in time but this has really helped with the general texture of my skin the goals of my routines is generally to reduce hyperpigmentation and to smoothen out my skin texture to help my skin look smoother i'm a sucker for having my my skin looking smooth under makeup and this just does the job it's on the pricey side and it's burnt the hell out of my skin yeah i've learned not to use this as often as other people use it because my skin cannot handle that every single time so i use it every week or every other week depending on how my skin feels but this definitely helps to reduce hyperpigmentation on the skin it is tried and true i have been through several bottles of these i left this and i went back to get it so that must say something it's an amazing toner if your skin is not on the sensitive side i think that you you can get away with using this every other day in my opinion so we are through with toners we're gonna go on to masks i don't talk about masks often because personally i'm not a mask girly i am super lazy at doing masks i should do better right yeah this is the innisfree super volcanic pore clay mask this is an amazing mask and every time i use this mask my skin feels instant 
instantly retexturized. My skin feels cleaner. It has a bit of AHAs in it, I think. I feel like this has helped to reduce the amount of oil my skin produces. The oils have balanced out. So my skin is not as oily as it used to be. Like I said, breakouts with me is more oil, more dirt, and bacteria mix up and become a pimple on my skin so i like to tackle hyperpigmentation from all angles so if i can prevent a breakout i definitely would and this is definitely one of the masks that helps with preventing breakouts so this is one of the products that i instantly feel working on my skin it's not irritating at all it feels really good on the skin and yeah it's an amazing products we are going to move on to serums i have three serums to share with you guys the first serum i have is the great barrier relief from crave beauty when my skin barrier is not in the best state i would essentially break out more and you know what breakouts do right i don't have to keep repeating myself so i like to keep my skin barrier in tip top shape sometimes i over exfoliate sometimes my skin just gets sensitive so what i do is to use this barrier relief serum and i kid you not if i use this tonight the next morning my skin feels great it's lightweight it's moisturizing and it feels really great on the skin it has like a soothing sensation almost whenever i feel like i have compromised my skin barrier i have to go and use this to repair it before it goes out of hand and i begin to break out a lot so the next serum i'm going to be talking about is the retinaldehyde cream serum 0.5 percent from naturium or natrium i don't know how to pronounce this brand but i have a lot of their products and i really like them this is the 0.05 percent retinaldehyde so if you've been on my channel for a while you know that i have been through retinols <laughs> i've used retinols for a while over three years started from the ordinary 0.05 percent retinol in squalene i moved to the cerave serum retinol serum and then eventually i moved to the one percent paula's choice serum now i'm using the 0.05 retinaldehyde cream serum from Aturium. apparently retinaldehyde is a higher much better version of retinol that's what the girlies are saying i tried it and i love it and i'm sticking to it so i'm gonna upgrade to the 0.0.1 percent in the future hopefully soon but this is my second tube and i have been loving this hyperpigmentation stays on my skin at a significantly shorter duration because usually if i break out it takes forever to fade off my skin but this I feel like this has significantly changed the game as to how much hyperpigmentation or how long hyperpigmentation stays on my skin because retinol has a thing where it helps to like shed off the skin faster and you know hyperpigmentation has to it be it, it be it be in the skin like <laughs> like in different layers of the skin so i don't know if i'm making sense i feel like i'm just mixing up a bunch of words but essentially what i'm trying to say is retinaldehyde has helped my skin this in particular has been the bomb.com next serum is also from naturium this is the multi bright tranexamic acid treatment it has active ingredients of tranexamic acid encapsulated kojic acid and alpha arbutin these are the best actives for hyperpigmentation you know how the girlies were going crazy over kojic acid tranexamic acid and alpha arbutin this has all three i'm shocked as to how this hasn't gone viral yet because this product is actually really really good it's really helped with the general brightness of my skin and i know that some of you might be wondering how does she mix up all these ingredients on just one face i'm gonna film my skincare routine so you guys can get like a clearer picture as to how i use and combine these actives so lastly i'm gonna be talking about spf you know that you can use all these actives and expect to go out in the sun and feel good that's definitely not the case your hyperpigmentation is gonna come back worse than it was before especially if you are using these actives in the mornings and going out into the sun with your bare skin that's not the way to go and i've had my fair share of using um 
sunscreens my skin doesn't do well with a lot of sunscreens even though people swear by them i've had hives acne redness i've had a lot of irritation from using spfs people swear by but finally finally i found spfs that work with my skin so the first one is the shiseido clear sunscreen stick spf 50 plus this goes clear on my skin and it gives me the nicest glow however i feel like this doesn't work great with makeup especially if you're an oily girly so if you want your makeup to last long i suggest using something else for spf before your makeup but this is a lightweight spf you know the heavy greasy feeling the sunscreen gives this does not do that this is great it's lightweight it's non-irritating and it protects the skin well if you can afford to get this spf definitely do next one this is the la roche posay 50 plus spf this is an spf spray crazy i know if you're looking for an spf to wear on top of your makeup that's not going to mess up your makeup this is the one to get acquainted with i am an oily girly so if i hear something makes your skin matte i would literally run towards that product this works great on top of your makeup it doesn't mess up your makeup and a plus is that it leaves your makeup looking matte so if you're an oily girly and you hear this doesn't it sound good to your ears so let me just show you guys how it looks like so like this and it literally goes onto the skin clear literally clear then it dries down matte crazy right looks like i'm talking about a sponsored product but it's literally not a sponsored product i'm just giving you guys the tea so yeah these are some of the great spfs i've been using i also like the invisible liquid it's also anti-telios anti anti-telios anti anti my goodness i've been pronouncing the word wrong this whole time so anti-telios right okay so i have the invisible liquid but i can't seem to find it anywhere i use that under makeup and it looks great on the skin and it doesn't irritate my skin that's the most important thing to me it also doesn't break me out so yeah i would definitely insert a picture for you guys to see what it looks like i'm pretty sure you guys have seen it all around on social media yeah this brings us to the end of today's video hopefully i don't film this video for a third time because girl is tired and i have to edit this so i can put it up tomorrow so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i would link everything that i have used or mentioned in this video down below i would also put the playlist down below for you guys also look out for my updated skincare routines so you guys can get a better picture of how i use these products in my routine definitely give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i will see you guys in my next one take care guys bye